love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you. So some basic tools you need is a crochet needle, a comb if you're going to part as you go, some Marley hair, rubber bands, and some oil to oil your scalp when you're done, and also some edge control to slick down your parts. So the Marley hair I got is a five in one, so it has five sections of hair. So all you'll see me doing is um, separating a few pieces of hair so that I can crochet it through my braid. And then that's what's gonna start the foundation of a braid so that I'm able to wrap more hair around it to create the faux lock. So here you'll just see me getting more hair because I wanted to make my braid a little bit more thicker. So again, I'm just going to crochet that through the braid that I just did. And then I'm going to just braid over that braid to make it thicker. By the way, your parts do not have to be perfect. As you can see, mine's clearly are not. Um, it's just as long as you have the parts big enough so that they will look like jumbo dreads once you're finished. All right, y'all, so my camera died, like, literally right after I started, so I didn't get to show you guys how I started wrapping my dread. But here, you'll just see me doing the same thing. I'm crocheting some hair through my braid so that I can start a foundation braid. And then I'll show you guys how I started wrapping in the beginning because um, once I got to the middle of my head, I kind of changed up the technique and I didn't want to do it the way I started. So I wanted my dreads to be pretty long so all I did was grab maybe like two three pieces of hair and I'm just going to attach it to the bottom of my braid that I already started. Um, all you do is wrap it around and then you start braiding by grabbing one leg and then continue to braid as a regular braid. It's very easy to attach it's not hard at all and then you just continue to braid down um, as long as you want your dread to go. All right, so now we're gonna wrap the hair and what you are gonna wanna do is grab as much hair as you want depending on how thick you want your dread to be. And then um, just finger comb it out. And then after you've done that, you're gonna separate it by doing like a short piece and then having your long piece. And the short piece is what you're gonna crochet through your braid. And I did kind of twist it so it was easier to pull through and not getting like too tangled up. So. Once you get the short piece in, all you're going to do is take that short piece and kind of like wrap it around the braid and hold it between your fingers. And then you're going to take the long piece and wrap it around your root maybe three to four times um, so that you can cover your rubber band and your braid. And you don't have to do it as many times as that because it will kind of get tight and you probably don't want your dress to be super tight on your scalp, especially if you're doing the rubber band method. So I believe I only wrap mine maybe like three times and then continue to wrap um, down the braid once you've covered your root. Be mindful that as you're wrapping down your braid, if your braid is like really small or thin that you will have to wrap um, a couple times over the same part just to create a thickness because um, as you can see like when I got down um, a little further it kind of got really thin on the dread so I had to keep wrapping around that part just to create a thickness and a consistency down the braid. Now here you'll see me start to wrap the hair upwards because again you have to keep the same like the consistency as you go down your dress so once it starts getting thin you just have to kind of pay attention to where you need to wrap um, before you get too far down the braid so that's why I'm wrapping upwards to continue the consistency of the thickness that started at the top of my braid so I wasn't really satisfied with the thickness of the braid so I just grabbed like two or three more strands and combed it out and what you'll see me doing here is kind of the same thing I did with the crochet needle except I'm not going to use the needle this time I'm just going to take the short piece and hold it around the braid like I did when I crocheted it through and then taking the long piece and wrapping it around the root and then continue to wrap down the braid um, and then this is the way I end up doing my faux dreads the rest of the video all right guys so this is like two days later um with me finishing my braid 
you'll see why it took me so long later on in the video but again i'm just doing the same thing as i was doing in the beginning which is crocheting the hair through my braid and then creating a braid to be able to wrap around um to create my faux lock and when you're doing this as well it does not have to be perfect because it's going to get wrapped anyway as long as it's solid enough to be wrapped around as you can see i started off with a braid and then i just continued to twist my hair down instead because it was just quicker and it was already taking me long enough um to do so i just decided to just go ahead and twist it once i got the foundation of my hair um braided in first but if you guys want to braid all the way down you can still do that as well so in the beginning of the video i told you guys that i changed up my technique um when it came to the wrapping so right here i'm going to show you guys what exactly i did and how i got the full dread to wrap around the braid um, without the crocheting it through the braid so what you're going to do is take this short piece and you're going to take that and attach it to your braid by holding it with your fingers or with your hand like i did um, and kind of wrapping it around so that it still is like stuck in place and then i just hold it between my fingers and then i take the long piece and i wrap it around my root um just so that you can't see my rubber band or the top of my braid and i continue to wrap maybe like a couple times i think i wrapped it maybe like three times around and then once you cover the rubber band and your braid you just start wrapping over the braid which will start to create your dread and as you can see my dread is forming so then you just start moving down and to make the dreads as thick as possible i kind of went right back up instead of all the way down just to make it a little thick on um, the top so that i know how thick i will continue to wrap the rest of the braid of my dread so i did go ahead and grab some more hair to wrap around my dread and i'm gonna start at the top you don't necessarily have to start at the root since your root is already covered um and because you don't want to make it any more tighter than it is especially if you have rubber bands um in your head and you're doing the rubber band method so i just start at like the top of the dread and then i start wrapping down um with the strands of hair that i just
all the dreads all i'm doing is taking my oil and putting it all throughout my scalp so that my scalp is not like super dry all right as you guys can see this is the finished product of my hair um you will kind of notice that my dreads look a little looser um but i did wrap it that way intentionally because i wanted my dreads to look kind of like rusty and um I didn't want it to like necessarily look like a tight dread. So some of them I did do kind of loose like this. Um, and then you have some that are tight. So um, this is the finished product. This took me a span of like three days to do because for one, I am very much pregnant. I'm um, six months, so I cannot sit anywhere for more than an hour. I can't sit in place for more than an hour before I'm uncomfortable. And I also ran out of hair because um, some of my dreads I wanted big, especially like up in the front. And um, I had only bought one pack of hair because I just assumed it would be enough since my head is so small. But being that I wanted to extend my dreads to be um, kind of longer, like here, and um, wanting them to be a little on the thick side, I did end up buying three packs of hair, but I only used two. Um, I'm out of breath already. See, this is why it took me so long to do this video. I also... Um, See, I'm at the point in my pregnancy, y'all, where my brain is just like scatterbrained and I don't remember things or I'm just clumsy, all that kind of stuff. So I don't even know what I'm trying to say no more. Um, but yeah, my camera also died. Um, and then I had to end up recording on my iPhone to finish the rest of my hair. So if the video looks different at a certain point, that's when I switched to my iPhone. Um, but I try to show you guys the easiest way I get this hairstyle. Um, for me, I think it's pretty much beginner friendly. It doesn't have to be perfect um, necessarily with this style, um, especially because you're just doing jumbo dreads. And like I said, you don't have to do them really tight either. So um, I just try to show you guys the easiest method to do it, especially with short hair, because I know when you have short hair, you always want some kind of braid hairstyle but your hair is not long enough right i have that struggle all the time because i always want some kind of braids or dreads and i can't do these styles because my hair is so short so i always have to do like a rubber band method or i just try to find ways to be able to do these styles that i want without the hassle or having to pay so much when i could just pay half the price to do it myself so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, if you are new, please subscribe to my channel. Please go ahead and comment any questions, like this video, and just let me know that anything I didn't cover or say, just let me know in the comments and I will respond to you guys as soon as I see it. Um, but yeah, go ahead and give me that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.